Welcome to Crystal Maker 10. In this tutorial we're going to have a look at ways of generating and displaying clusters of atoms. I get a start with a much simpler structure. Here we have an inorganic crystal framework and we might be interested in the environment around one of the atoms. Unfortunately because it's a complicated structure it's difficult to find out about the environments without other atoms getting in the way. But there's a quick shortcut that we can use. We can move down to the tools palette and choose the arrow tool. Then if we select an atom of interest like this potassium atom and we can go to the cluster button in the Windows toolbar, we instantly get a spherical cluster of atoms displayed on the screen. We've selected the atom and Crystal Maker has detected a selected atom and it's enabled the Use Center of Selection checkbox and then it's displaying a default cluster of six angstroms around that atom. Now we can press the Reset Size button to show a three angstrom cluster. I can actually drag this little box away so we can see a little bit more about what's happening and we can expand the size of our cluster by using the up down buttons here. So here we have a three and a half angstrom cluster. And if we continue to expand the size of our cluster, then we'll start to get other non-bonded atoms appearing, including some of the other metal atoms in this structure. Now, if you're not interested in selecting a particular atom, but you just want to know the environments around a certain site, you can still use the cluster command and we can choose a site using the pop-up. So well, let's enter a size, let's go to three angstroms and we can choose different sites using the combo box. So cluster around a T1 site and a T2 site in this structure. Let's now go back to the gold structure that we saw at the very beginning and we'll try and define a nanoparticle of gold. So we'll go to the cluster command and then we need to enter the size of our cluster and we have a 50 angstrom cluster that we'll define. This is the radius that will make the actual size of the cluster the diameter 100 angstroms. So here is our 100 angstrom nanoparticle of gold.